Yo, what's up everybody? July happened and games are played. So we'll start it off with a game that uh, I didn't play too much of. I played it as a little bit of a like, uh, uh, what am I gonna play, what am I gonna play? Let me just pop this in. We're gonna play, we picked up Spider-Man 2, Return, uh, Enter Electro. And uh, it was okay. You know, it was. I beat the first one a little while ago. I beat the first one a little while ago, and it was what I remembered it as a kid. And then I was like, okay, well, let's just play the second one to get the series over with. And it is not as good. The first one is just superior in every way. Um, the story is okay. Electro stealing stuff, so you have to go fight him. But it just the camera angles the. Me the mechanics are the same, nothing really changed there, but you are fighting with the camera a good majority of the game. And then it didn't save my progress the first playthrough, so I was like, alright, well that's... Ugh. It's not fun to play, and then you're going to make me play it again. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to keep playing this. So then the other game that I was playing... Mind you, I'm playing one game that is taking up a majority of the time. So these are like the least common plays. And the other game... That I played a lot of was The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> it's a digital on my PS4, but I, uh, you know, back back in the early days of the almost cool guys, um, when I lived in my apartment there, uh, I was playing a whole hell of a lot of Binding of Isaac. I don't know how much hours I have in that game, but whenever I can find someone that can look at how much hours I have for that specific game, uh, I'll let you guys know. But uh, I played that the crap out of that game. I beat Delirium. I've got almost all the endings. Um, I have to beat it with the Lost. And if you know Binding of Isaac, you know it's uh, woof. it's a character that dies in one hit, <clears throat> and it can go at any time. So uh, that's the last thing I'm missing for the game. So I played some of that game uh, mostly as a palate cleanser to just get rid of the bad taste of Spider Man. And it's a fun game to just turn your brain off for an hour. And it's a twin stick. It's a twin stick shooter, so you're running and gunning. You know, you're crying at your enemies. Very simplistic in presentation and in gameplay mechanics, but very complex as far as lore, as far as getting the most out of every map. You got to learn how to read the map to see where the certain the secret rooms are, the super secret rooms are. And I'm not the best player by no means, uh, but th there are certain things that you just need to you need to grasp for that game to be what it's supposed to be. All right, and then the third game, which is the game that I spent most of my time playing in July, <laughs> and the only reason why Fight Night Champions. Played this game so much. Started watching Hajime no Ippo, playing that game. Just everything lined up perfectly. Uh, super momentous. I created a new, a new character. I named him Joe Bags, for short for Joey Bag of Donuts, <laughs> which is a, an old joke from a comedian a long time ago. Uh, he, I made him. He was a mohawk and he wore yellow and purple. And I maxed out. I went from barely playing that game, and actually will never play that game for over a decade, to maxing out stats in a career mode f for a specific character and looking up guides and stuff on what I needed to do to maximize what each character. But this game, the Peter Wary, this game ate up so much of my time. And it was worth it. It's a good game. It's a fun game, and it's, you know, the last... Uh, fight night game that came out. It's one of the best that I think that came that's been out there. I, I have a little bit of nostalgia for, for Fight Night Round Two. I think it is because that's the one I played the most. But Fight Night Champion has Muhammad Ali. It has Mike Tyson. It has Manny Pacquiao. It has Roberto Duran. It, it has marvelous Marvin Hagler. It has it, <laughs> Fight Night Champions. Dish, dish, dish. <laughs> Just the big names. Unfortunately, I can't buy the DLC or anything like that anymore because. PS3, but 
it was it's a good game. I definitely recommend it if you're if you're into collecting games and you have a PS3, pick that game up. But those are the three games I played in in July. Nothing crazy flashy. Like I said most of the time I was just playing boxing because I was watching boxing uh, anime. So I was just like, I gotta get in there. I gotta do some weaves. I gotta weave and throw some right hands. So it's a fun game. Man, yeah, have it for the collection. <laughs> and and like as I posted on my the the community po chat there, if anybody looks at that, uh, it'll let you know the price history of certain games. And that game when I picked it up was I don't know fifteen bucks I think from from Bookman's like in two thousand seventeen, and it's up to like forty right now. You know, just price history. So that's pretty cool for a uh, for a game that's not that fun to play. Well, you still get to be Scarlet Spider Man. So at least that's a plus. And then Binding of Isaac, because I have a bajillion hours in that game, and it's fun to play a random game, RNG all day, and then Fight Night Champion, and throw in some you know Rock Band. Some guitar hero. You know, you've seen the stuff that I, I got on that collection. So, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, buenas noches.